And I call three every week. I'm getting another one. I need another one. Someone's waiting on another one. And so um, I see that profound change in these handlers. They were training service dogs knowing that they could be very well, these dogs are changing people's lives, that they're having a, a dramatic impact on people's lives. And they know that we recently had um, one of Freedom Service Dogs recipients come out to Sterling and talk to the men out there. And um, this gentleman just said he probably wouldn't be alive without his dog. And it hit home to these guys more than I can tell you. Um, so I just, I want to express the gratitude to Freedom Service Dogs for the relationship we have, for my handlers that wait week after week for that dog to train and knowing that they're making a difference. Um, the dogs that have either come from us or have been trained by us were Shimmer, who was trained by Mr. Lywicki, Pastel, who was trained by Mr. Roy Ball, and these men are all at Sterling's Correctional Facility. Um, Halo was trained by Mr. Via, Slider by Mr. Snyder, which I thought was fun, <laughs> um, and Gyro by Mr. Whitler. So I have letters that they have written to the recipients of these dogs, just so you can read how how fun it was, how challenging it was, how um, much it's changed their life. Um, I do have a letter that one of my handlers did write, and it's really short, so I'll read it just because it'll kind of give you an idea of how they feel. Um, and this was two Freedom Service dogs. I would like to express my thanks and give you a heartfelt thank you from the bottom of my heart. I work for the Prison Train Canine Companion Program in Sterling West, and at this point have only trained two service dogs, Shimmer and Rillo, who he has right now. Um, to know that I have been just part of a machine, I'm not sure what that means, um, to do such a wonderful thing inside a prison is simply mind-blowing. I think what he's basically trying to say is he's one piece of a big team of people that are men that are training these dogs, and it's, it's been really impactful to him. Um, I expressed to my family and people that I talked to about service dogs that this one little dog like Shimmer or Rillo could make the difference in a life and death for someone. When you read the stats about suicide amongst our servicemen and women, due to PTSD, and when you realize how paramount what we do is, you could come to the conclusion that a dog would literally mean the life or death of someone and honestly gives me chills. We make a difference. All of this said is not to mention the Prison Train Canine Companion Program and being involved in the training of service dogs has changed my life and has changed me as a person more than I think you could possibly know. And allowing us to help has literally made me the man I am today. With this being said, please realize that your service has helped more people than you could have ever fathom. Freedom Service Dogs has a very, very long reach, and you guys are the best thing that has ever happened to me. Keep up the good work, and let's train more and more dogs. <laughs> so, um, and, and a little scattered writing. Basically, he's saying that he had trained companion dogs for over a year and finally got his first service dog, and... He just knows how long-reaching and how important it is what he's doing and what all of the men and women, and I have many, many women as well that are doing this at Denver Women's. We don't have anybody graduating today, but um, anyway, I just wanted to say thank you to Freedom for the relationship we have, and congratulations to all the recipients of these wonderful dogs. Thank you. 